So today we're going to talk about simplifying fractions. So whenever you simplify fractions, you're going to factor the top and the bottom, you're going to cancel any like factors, and you're going to reduce. So for this one, we're going to factor the top and bottom first. So the first thing we can do is factor out of 5. So we factor out of 5, and then we get x squared plus 30 divided by 5 is 6x minus 35 divided by 5 is 7 over, we can factor 5 out of this one too, 1 minus x squared. So those 5's will go ahead and cancel, and now we can factor the top and bottom again. S x squared plus 6x minus 7 is going to factor to two quantities. So we have to think, what's going to add to get a positive 6 but multiply to get a negative 7? Well, 7 is a prime number, so its only factors are 7 in itself. If we want it to be positive, that means the 7 has to be positive and the 1 has to be negative. And then we're going to factor that over. And since this is a difference of squares, it's just the f it's just the first term, the square root of the first term, minus the square root of the second term, plus the square root of, times the square root of the first, plus the square root of the second. So now these two factors will cancel, and we'll be left with a fraction of x plus 7 over x plus 1. So now we're just going to do some more examples. So, first we always factor the top. So the top is a difference of squares, so it's going to be x minus 3 times x plus 3 over, and if we factor the bottom, it's going to be two factors that look like that. Negative 6 is divided by 2 and 3. 2 and 3 will add to make a positive 1 if we have a positive 3 and a negative 2. So this positive 3 and this positive x plus 3 factors are going to cancel, and we're just left with x minus 3 over x minus 2. Now, what we're essentially doing here is dividing by those common factors. This is the only way for us to really divide polynomials. So now we're going to factor the top, and the top will just be able to factor a 3 out of it, so it'll be 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, minus 4 divided by 4 is just 1, so a. And then the bottom will factor as well, and we'll get an a here and an a here. The two factors of 12 that are going to add to give us a 1 is going to be 3 and 4. Since it's a negative 12 and we want a positive 1, we're going to have positive 4, negative 3. This a minus 3 is if you look, if you were to rewrite this, this would be a minus 3. So this cancels with this factor, and we're just left with 4 over a plus 4. We're going to do a couple more. So to factor the top, all we can do is factor an x out of that. And to factor the bottom, it's a difference of squares. It's going to be x plus 5 times x minus 5. These x plus 5s are going to cancel. We're going to get x over x minus 5. And now, this last one, you can't factor the top, but the bottom should look really familiar because this is a perfect square trinomial. So then, so if you remember, we're going to take the square root of the first plus the square root of the second and then square root plus the square root because that's our formula for a perfect square trinomial. So this a plus b is only going to cancel with one of these a plus b's. So we're left with a 1 on top and an a plus b on the bottom. So that's all for simplifying fractions. Make sure you come back and watch your next video where we're going to talk about multiplying fractions.